Hello, my name is Yuri Molotov. I'm product engineer in the Leica Captivate team here in Switzerland. And today I want to introduce you to our latest Leica Captivate update, version 8. In this video, I will be telling you about pure software highlights, but don't miss our hardware highlights video as well. I would like to start by explaining you an enhancement in our job management functionality by introducing sites. Many of you have told us that during the day you move between various locations, projects and sites and each of them can contain multiple jobs. Now with Captivate version 8, it's possible to assign a new property to a job, which is called site. By doing this, you are able to filter the jobs you see on the home screen by switching sites on or off. This means that you can focus on the jobs relevant for this particular site only. But there is no need to worry, because all other jobs are just hidden. Next, I would like to introduce you to our three improvements to our coding and line work. The measuring circles and rectangles, the easier entry of line work, and increasing the number of code attributes. We will start with measuring of circles and rectangles. Previously, it was possible to use our Kogo routines to draw circles and rectangles directly from the 3D viewer. Now, with version 8, we have extended this to allow the creation of circles and rectangles directly whilst measuring your points. Simply select one of the new line work options available in our code boxes and Captivate will then help you measure a circle or rectangle and display it on screen in the 3D viewer. These new line work options allowed us the opportunity to review the way line work is selected and we have actually improved this for everyone who prefers to use the keyboard. You can now access the line work options of your selected code box simply by pressing the spacebar. Then type to select your desired line work option. Once confirmed, it will automatically be applied to your code, streamlining the process whenever you already know the code and line work that you want to use. The final coding improvement that I want to mention is an increase of a number of the attributes which can be stored with the code. Previously, the limit was 20, but some of you told us that this is not enough when working with complex databases. In Captivate version 8, we tripled this number up to 60 attributes per point code. Now I want to talk about using Leica Captivate on Windows PCs and the tablets, such as Leica CS30. In the version 8, we made three changes to the way Captivate can work on these tablets. Moving to 64-bit application, improving the utilizing of device's camera, and possibility to run Captivate in a window. Let's start with the last one. Using Captivate in reduced window size allows you to put Captivate alongside to the other software which you may use on the tablet. This makes it easier to switch between active programs on your tablet. Next, I would like to introduce our improved camera utilization for tablets. Previously, inside Captivate, you couldn't switch between the back-facing and front-facing cameras, and you couldn't influence the resolution of any photos taken with them. Now, you can control the quality of the photo to make sure that you capture every detail for your Q&A documentation. And you can switch between the cameras and even take a selfie if you like. Feel free to send us your favorite service selfie. The final tablet-focused improvement to mention is that with version 8, Captivate switches from a 32-bit to a 64-bit application. Of course, this doesn't sound like a new feature, but actually it brings a performance boost to Captivate on tablets, especially in the 3D viewer when working with large models such as complex IC files. Now we can see that panning, zooming and navigating around even large IFC files is smoother than ever before. The final feature for this video is a great new data transfer option, which is called Send to Mail. In all existing Captivate data export options, there is a new setting, upload a copy and share a link via email. Just check this checkbox and enter an email address. Then, once the data is exported, a copy of the file is uploaded to our cloud and the link to download it is sent to an email. So now you can share CAD exports, data files and Q&A reports with anyone you like directly from Captivate device. For a full explanation of all these features and also of those which I mentioned in hardware related video, please contact your local Leica Geosystems representative or check the release notes in my world.